This is Underwater Species Observation. I'm your host, Jen Carvasi from Jekyll Bates. Today, we're on Crooked Creek, Arkansas. Did you ever have dreams when you were a kid that you could fly? Or that you could swim under the water like the fish did without taking a breath? Just gliding through that water? I did. I still do. Since I was a little girl, I've been infatuated, obsessed with all things swimming. The water, the fish, the bait, the plants in the water, raising aquarium substrate, pond substrate, filming every single piece that I can. Today's one of those days, and I really want you to see the differences in how fish look under and on top of the water, how the lighting plays a key role in what times of the day. This particular scene was shot at about 6.30 in the morning, just as the sun had popped over the horizon. Oh, this is in the mountains, so it's a little bit darker. But look at the difference in how blue the left side looks and how bright the right side looks here. It's amazing. This next scene, you're going to see two, hopefully you'll see them, I'm going to point them out to you guys, two smallmouth bass on the bottom. Here in just a little bit, they're coming up, and if you miss them the first time, we'll go back to them. They're on the bottom right here in the center. It's okay, we'll come back to them. They're expertly camouflaged because that's how they avoid being prey themselves. And it's also how they ambush. Their noses are pointed upstream. This is a swirl eddy type area. A little backflow here. And they're in, the, they're in the center here. Can you see them moving? One on the left, one on the right. There's a white rock underneath the left one. This next scene is common carp. Pay particular attention to how the iridescence of the scales look as they flash through the sunlight and how you might portray that when you're building a bait or spraying colors. See how that sunlight pops off of one or two or maybe four scales as we're releasing this carp? The carp was about, I would say, 12 pounds on this one. Smallmouth bass. On this next shot, it's in about two feet of water, and you'll notice as all of these forage fish, the bait ball, I'm walking through a bait ball that I broke apart. All you're seeing are the dark profiles of these minnows. You're not seeing much more than that. That's what you need to key in on if you're in any kind of stained water. Because that's what the fish see. They see that profile. Remember that. We're coming back to it a little bit later. There's going to be a pumpkin seed that I release. And it's going to be coming up here shortly. And I want you to take a look at it and remember that for later as well. Because I'm going to show you a picture of somebody holding this pumpkin seed out of the water. And as I'm catching, I'm actually catching it right now and then releasing it in the water as we move along. I'm just kind of fishing as I walk the, the creek bed. But take a look at it. Just let it go. And now we're going to follow it. It's just ahead, almost in the center of the screen, just to the left of the center. I'm going to walk up on it real slow. There it is. Keep in mind what it looks like in, in the water here. A little bit later, I'm going to show you what it looked like outside. This is just the profile of a smallmouth bass I'm releasing. A young juvenile smallmouth. 
rock bass, or an Ozark, if you want to call it that. Kind of looks like a watermelon seed. Did you see the eyes? Eyes are important. Look at how bright red those eyes were. This is a young helper mite, living, free flowing, it's just kind of floating on the top of the water on the surface column of the water. Most of you guys will probably identify Helger mites with being black. This is bright red brown. There's that pumpkin. Big difference. Here's a green. Here's me releasing the green. Not much to see here, but very cool. Top of that fish is really dark, but look at the blues in the cheeks. That's what you're identifying, and that's what the fish identify too when they're chasing it. There's that red eye. That's what we've got for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for coming along, playing along, enjoy the water, film the water, explore the water, do everything that you can do to try and capture what you can from nature. Cheers. Happy casting, you guys. We'll talk to you soon.